Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, uh, Commissioner. Um, I would like to address the issue of um, aggregated location data sharing that um, you have addressed in your initial remarks. Um, these location data on how many people move and meet at which places can be used for other purposes as well, such other purposes than containing the spread of the virus, such as by intelligence agencies or by police for crowd control purposes. Just to know where people are meeting is very sensitive information and these authorities can subsequently identify the so-called anonymized movements by simply requesting individualized communications data from providers and asking them which exactly were those 30 people who met at this place um, that we are interested in. So what I'd like to, to know from you is, uh, first of all, are you also harmonizing the standards on anonymizing this data and how exactly is effective anonymization provided for under your scheme? Uh, secondly, um, how exactly do you want to ensure the strict purpose limitation of this uh, location uh, database and data sharing and prevent any follow-up requests for individualized data? How do you want to make sure that this is limited to this exact purpose? And finally, thirdly, how long will this program be in place for? Because you mentioned it in the context of your initiative on European data spaces, so that makes me worry that um, this location database might not be limited to monitoring um, the spread of the virus, but uh, might be used permanently. And finally, uh, you mentioned that it had proven very effective in monitoring the spread of the virus. Could you explain to us how anonymized location data can help monitoring the spread of the coronavirus? Thank you. Um, to respond to Mr. Bay on aggregated uh, location data, thank you very much for th giving me the opportunity to state this very clearly. On the aggregated and anonymized da uh, data, they are aggregated and anonymized, and they can only be used for the stated purpose. So no uh, security authority, no police uh, authority, law enforcement authority, or any other body that might be interested in uh, understanding crowd movements will have access to this data. It will purely be made available to health authorities in order to assess the effectiveness of tracing and it's it's a tool for healthcare workers and health authorities in allowing them to identify uh, potential contacts contacts with um, people who have been tested positive so uh, we're talking here about uh, very clear restrictions and if those rules are not followed, that will be considered a breach of the rules and uh, necessary action will be taken. And you're quite right to raise this issue of when things will uh, go back to normal. And oh, I should stress that all of this will be voluntary anyway. Once the crisis is over, the data will all be deleted and that should be very clear from the outset. So we need to work together at the European level to uh, emerge from this crisis to have a common exit strategy. Um, altogether, we are a big dem democratic system. We have our values uh, that we hold very dear, and they're non-negotiables. So we are working together with colleagues uh, in the Commission to make sure that there is absolutely no sliding on the values. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner, um, thank you very much for answering my question on location data. And I understand that you want it to be anonymous and that you want it to be limited to the purpose of um, this uh, present crisis. Now, let me ask you a couple of follow-up questions. Um, anonymizing location data is very difficult because it is so unique to us, our movements. So are there any standards in your program on how mobile phone providers should effectively anonymize this data. 
secondly, uh, I wonder, is this data really anonymous if people can be de-anonymized by follow-up data requests, such as uh, law enforcement authorities can do? So do you think um, that this can really be called anonymous data if it can be de-anonymized so easily? And um, furthermore, it seems that data protection law does not protect us against um, anonymized location data, even though so, uh, they can be de-anonymized. So do you think that the, the rules that are in place are sufficient to ensure the purpose limitation? It seems to me that there is no legal uh, limitation of purpose when it comes to so-called anonymized data because it, it doesn't come under the, the, the data protection rules. And finally, you said this data is meant to track infections and to alert uh, potentially infected people. But location data is very um, not exact. It, it's only um, those cells are hundreds of meters um, Finish, please. Finish, please. Yes. Uh, so can you explain to us how exactly these data are used? Thank you. Breyer. There was a question from Mr. Breyer. You're talking about apps again anonymization and to the stockage period yes well we have to understand how this is supposed to work the idea is not to have geo positioning that should not be put in there that has been stopped it should only be anonymized data when people come within a certain distance three meters two meters whatever and just for a certain period of time I don't think that there would be any uh, uh, way to misuse this data. They would be fully anonymized, so we would ensure that all of the guarantees are in place to uh, try and deal with the very legitimate questions that you've uh, posed.